Hey, I'm Ryan with StickDulcimer.com. Welcome today. I love that you're here. And we are going to cover uh, Hallelujah, how to play Hallelujah, which was originally recorded by Leonard Cohen, but most people know it from the uh, mid-90s recording made by Jeff Buckley. He's the one who probably made it the most popular. It's the most quintessential version of it. If you haven't heard it, go to Spotify, check it out. That's the one I'll probably be thinking about when I uh, when I'm talking about this today. Now, I'm not going to be very explicit about how to play it. What I would encourage is that you go listen to that version, to other versions, and figure out what kind of arrangement you want to have out of these chords. Now, uh, as we go through the, the video, here's what you could expect. First, we're going to walk through what the chords should be, the names of them. Then I'm going to show you how to play it with one finger so that you can just knock it out really fast. You could do this in an afternoon. And then I'm going to show you how to play it with slightly more complex chords. Now, I will be moving quickly because I have a chord guide now available as a cheat sheet. There's a cheat sheet that's free on the website. Looks like that. And then there's actually an upgraded version if you want to uh, support the channel, support me. There's a paid version that has 22 pages uh, and ever expanding. Actually, get upgrades with that. So if you have a D instrument, today I'm going to be talking about things in D. This is a D strum stick, and I, um, I know most people play D tune, Seagull Merlins, or strum sticks. But I also have a free chord change guide. So if you're playing on a G instrument, feel free to go grab that too. That's free. Now, uh, like I said, we're going to go through all the chords first, then the one finger, then the multi-finger. Here are the chords that you need to know. One, which is D in this key, four, G, five, A, six minor, which is B minor, and then the tricky chord today is the F sharp. That one I'll get to in a minute. It is easy. It won't be a problem. But it is interesting because a lot of songs don't include that chord, okay? So, those are the chords that we're going to be using. First off now, the, the one finger version. You're going to start with an open. Beginning is just uh, open and then fifth fret, which is the B minor. I heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord. But, and we're moving to the third fret. You don't really care for music, do you? Okay? Now it goes like, goes like this, open the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, you're up to the fifth fret, and the major lift, the third fret, the baffled king composing, and that's the, that's a tricky one, that's the F sharp, that's the second fret, composing, hallelujah, fifth fret, that one might throw you. So then you have the hallelujah part, right, the... We'll call it chorus. This one, this song's a little different in structure because it's not really first chorus. It's more like first part A, verse part B, and then a little piece that's kind of like the chorus. So hallelujah, hallelujah. And then up to the fifth fret, hallelujah. That's your six minor, hallelujah, hallelujah. Okay, so that's three, five, three, four, open. Uh, that is, that's actually all the chords in the, in the spaces that you need them for the one finger version. So let's move on to the slightly more complex multi finger version. Again, we're going to start back at the top with D. As you know, and you can look at the chord cheat sheet or the download chord guide uh, to see more options here, but the way I like to play it is with the D in this, in this case, going to be right here. And you can see the fingering for this in the chord guides. Um, I played this here, and I played the six minor, the B minor down here, okay? And I like to move those that way because I don't move these bottom two, these middle uh, fingers on the bottom two strings. That's, that's the beginning, and that's how you can run the intro. Right? So then you then you can get into the to the words, to the lyrics. I heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord. And then you get to the G and the A. But you don't really care for music, do you? Back to D. It goes like this, down the G. The fourth, the fifth, which I think is great because that's actually the fourth and the fifth chords of the scale. Fourth the fifth, and then the minor fall, you can either play this right here. This is a B minor, the minor fall. That's one version of B minor. You could also do it here to get that more minor tonality, the, the fourth, 
fifths of fifths of minor fall in the major, minor fall in the major lift G. The baffled king, that's your A, composing. I just want to bar across the second fret. Composing alleluia. So that's, that's what I was talking about earlier, the F sharp. In this case, we're just playing an F sharp bar because it's, it's a proxy chord, if you will, for an F sharp major chord, which is what's in the recording. We can't play an F sharp major on this particular instrument because there's no major third there. That would be um, A. A sharp? F. We don't have that note, whatever it is. If you play with a third in it, you get an F sharp minor, so in, in order to avoid that, we just play it straight across, F sharp. And then it goes to the B minor. And so you're in to the hallelujahs, right? And it goes with G and B minor. Hallelujah, 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 A. Yeah. Back to D. I'll try and run that down real fast, see if I can get it right this time. Uh, I heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord But you don't really care for music, do ya? I don't know if I said that, you can do the A and A7, that's also in the more complete chord guy Well it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall and the major lift the baffled king Now, if you've made it this far <laughs> through all my ramblings and hopefully it's been helpful, what I'd love for you to do is look in the comments, uh, leave me a note, subscribe if you haven't, it really does help. And jump on over to the website. You may not know that I have a website, even though I've referred to the downloads, that's where you download things. But on the website, I've got strings, I've got a lot more tips, a lot more videos there, those downloads like I mentioned, um, and I've got new instruments coming out. Anytime now, you, you should expect to see some new stuff on the website, and you can join the email list so you can hear more about that. Anyway, I would love to know your feedback on this and what other songs you want to learn to play. Uh, at the end of the day, that's what we're here to do is learn. So anyway, thanks for watching and have a great day.